Hi everybody, it's Debt Free Joel here, and I want to talk to you guys about the emergency fund that you probably have. You see, over the last year and a half, you had a lot of time to accumulate wealth since you really wasn't doing anything during the pandemic. But what I want to do is talk to you guys specifically about the three things that you should never ever do with your emergency fund. You're going to like this. So the first thing you should never do with your emergency fund is invest it. Hear me out. I know many of you have gotten into investing. I think it's absolutely great that you're taking that by the reins and trying to educate yourself on how to grow your money. But what you should never, ever do is take your emergency funds and use it for your investments. You see, your emergency funds is there for one reason and one reason only, to protect you, right? You don't want to grow your emergency fund with your investment account. You don't want to do that because guess what? Investments actually go down. Don't believe me? Look at the stock market in March of 2020 and you'll see what I'm talking about. We have selective memory. We think that the market's always going to keep going up until it doesn't, right? Your emergency fund is there to protect you. In my instance, for example, I have six months of emergency funds saved up. I put that in a high yield savings account that I have quick access to. Um, I use Ally, for example, and they charge about, you know, 50 basis points a year or half of a percent. Um, it's not a lot of interest, but that account's not there to grow year over year, right? As interest rates rise in the future, I'm going to be able for that account to keep up with inflation. But for now, I have it there to protect me. So don't ever invest your emergency funds. The reason why is because if something goes wrong with your investments and they go down and you're in an emergency, you're going to get hit twice because number one, your investments go down. And number two, you're in an emergency. Never, ever, ever invest your emergency funds. The second thing you never want to do with your emergency fund is tap into it needlessly. Let me explain. Many of you have just spent the last summer going all, all, all over the place, right? You're going on vacations, you're going to different places, you were buying houses, whatever the case is, you guys were out there just having fun, right? We've been cooped up in the house for a year. What the hell you thought was going to happen? I get it. But you never want to tap into your emergency fund for just needless things. So for example, a vacation is not an emergency. Um, birthday gifts, not an emergency. Christmas gifts, not an emergency. You know what an emergency is? Let's say your transmission or your car blows. That's an emergency. The roof in your house starts to leak. That's an emergency. The boiler breaks. That's an emergency. Your kid needs school supplies and they need it right now and somehow you forgot. That's an emergency right? Don't tap into your emergency funds just because you forgot something that you were supposed to do that now is just, oh, well, I need to do it. No, it should be specific to an emergency. The reason why is it's there to protect you. And most importantly, your emergency fund is there so that you don't take on needless debt. You know, I was going to talk about this, right? Debt is debt-free Joel for Christ's sake, right? But that's the point of an emergency fund. You want to make sure that you're not tapping into it every two seconds. You're leaving it there for emergencies only. So that's my second rule for emergency funds. Don't tap into it needlessly. And the third thing you should never do with your emergency funds is this. Never loan it out. I know this is going to sound really bad, but hear me out. I'm very big on charity. You guys, if you guys have been watching my channels, if you've been watching my Instagram page, at Debt Free Joel, shameless plug, right? But if you've been watching it, you know that I'm very big on charity. However, Loaning out your emergency fund to help somebody else is not charity. What you really want to do when someone comes in and, and they need help with money is to figure out ways where you can help them with their budget to free up cash so that they can take care of what they need to take care of. That's the first. The second thing is maybe they can take on a loan that you can help them pay off over time, right, without jeopardizing your own emergency fund. But what you never want to do is go into your emergency fund to bail out somebody else's emergency because here's why. A lot of times, especially between friends and family, money complicates things. What happens if this person never bails you out, right? What happens if this person never pays you back? What happens if this person just neglects you from that point on and you never hear from them again? What happens if the person, for whatever reason, starts an argument with you, never wants to talk to you again and thinks about never paying you back? I know these things sound facetious, but they happen and they happen a lot. So never, ever, ever loan out your emergency fund to help somebody else. I know it sounds cruel, but it's not. Figure out a way for them to help themselves. If they need to take on a debt, if they need to use it on a credit card, which I am completely against credit cards, but in this instance, if they have to take on debt, help them to pay it off over time, right? By using part of your own budgetary money to be able to do that. 
But don't go into your emergency funds and jeopardizing your well-being to help somebody else. Because if they never pay, pay you back, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be in an emergency. Look, building an emergency fund can take sometimes years, right? If you want to build three to six months of expenses and you have a countless amount of bills, you may not be able to build an emergency fund too quickly. And you're going to be tempted to invest it. You're going to be tempted to take risks. You're going to be tempted to do things to build that account quickly. You may even want to lend it out to friends. You may want to tap into it leniently because the minute you start saving your money is the minute there's an emergency, right? There's always something that goes on, right? Murphy's Law. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But your emergency fund is there specifically to protect you. That's what it's there for. It's there to protect your family. It's there to protect your kids. It's there to protect you. You built this emergency fund to protect you. Never, ever forget that, especially now. We have one of the highest savings rates in our country's history because of the pandemic. And guess what's going to happen? Mark my words. Two years from now, we're going to look back and say, what happened to everybody's savings? You know what's going to happen? They spent it all. Don't be that person. I'm Debt Free Joel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on YouTube at Debt Free Joel. And I'll see you next time.